Caitlin Clark balled it up on a collegiate level, but can she do the same professionally? Some WNBA players don't seem to think so. In 2024, Caitlin Clark was pretty much the main reason everyone was tuning into the NCAA Women's Tournament. The University of Iowa star impressed even the biggest basketball players by making history and becoming the all-time leading scorer in the NCAA. Seeing as it was her senior year, Clark made a huge announcement on social media. She would subsequently be entering the WNBA. She said, While the season is far from over and we have a lot more goals to achieve, it will be my last one at Iowa. I am excited to be entering the 2024 WNBA draft. It's no secret that Clark is projected to be the number one pick in the WNBA draft, but as impressive as her career has been, some pros feel like she's in for a rude awakening. When talking about what Clark and other college athletes can expect when coming to the WNBA, professional WNBA player Diana Taurasi had some harsh words for Clark. You look superhuman playing against 18-year-olds, but you're going to come with some grown women that have been playing professional basketball for a long time. Tarasi's remarks about the University of Iowa star went viral, and people quickly defended Clark online. One user on X, formerly known as Twitter, didn't mince words when they tweeted, just a couple jealous bitten legacy holders that are afraid to somehow lose meaning as they're overshadowed by the accomplishments of Clark. Simply put, many social media users claimed that Tarasi felt threatened by Clark's potential, leading her to voice those controversial comments. It hasn't just been the internet weighing in on Tarasi's remarks about Clark either. Sports professionals and commentators have also come to her defense. Former NFL star Chad Johnson told the podcast Nightcap that he didn't understand why Tarasi insinuated that Clark may struggle when entering the WNBA. I'm just saying, I to watch what she did, in college, I would have been very hesitant to make the type of comments. Of course, Clark may need to do at least a little adjusting when she enters the WNBA, but that's to be expected. And it seems she'll have a lot of support during the process. Sports anchor Rob Parker also backed up Clark after Tarasi's comments. Speaking about Tarasi on the Odd Couple podcast, he said, She shouldn't be talking about what what is in store when this woman has just had a, a major impact on on." Women's college basketball. Despite all the criticism thrown Clark's way, she remains eager about her professional career. She could actually have stayed another year to play on a collegiate field, but was ready for something more. She explained her reasoning for opting out of another year at the University of Iowa to Good Morning America. I'm just kind of ready for the next chapter and a new challenge in my life. Despite her impressive resume, Clark knows she has a lot of learning to do when she enters the WNBA. She didn't need Diana Taurasi to remind her of this. Clark spoke to SportsCenter almost almost a week before the WNBA draft to talk about what she's most excited about in her professional career. She said, I think being ready to learn, I think that's the biggest thing. The basketball star isn't as naive as Tarasi may think she is. Clark knows that professional basketball will be much different than college basketball. She said, I know there's a new challenge in front of me. It's a fresh chapter in life, but that's what excites me the most. It's obviously a lot different going into college, but I think that's the biggest thing, just the challenge as a competitor. Anticipation is clearly building for Clark's pro debut, and it seems that the world will have to wait and see to discover how her professional career plays out.